Creating attractive layouts normally means involving custom code, that is CSS and JavaScript. We tried to use built-in settings as much as possible, however we also had to write some additional code for most of our layouts. In this video I'll try to make sure that you understand where to find this custom code and how to customize it. Even if you are not too skilled with CSS, this video is still for you. The custom CSS is located in two places. The first one is module or row or section settings. Here I have an example section loaded and to see the custom CSS I'm going to go to module settings, advanced tab and custom CSS. Most of the times you're going to find some custom CSS here. For example, I can see here that there is a background color set for the before CSS pseudo element. Let's see what happens if I change this. I can change this color to another one. I'm just going to use tomato. And as you can see, this whole background has changed. You can also add your own custom CSS. For example, you can add a border for this element. There you go. So you can customize the existing CSS or even add your own for that particular element that you're seeing the settings of. However, these settings here are pretty limited, so this isn't the entire custom CSS code. The most of the custom CSS code is under the custom CSS files. On your right here, open the collection you're trying to customize. Let me go back to the page here. Here I have a section from the Tina collection and once again if you're not sure what section do you have loaded exactly and which collection does it belong to, you can go to settings and enable layers. Here I can see that the name of this section is a fire blurbs and it's the Tina collection. So I can just open the Tina here. What this does is it opens the entire custom CSS code for this collection in a new tab in my browser. This document is pretty well commented and these comments serve as the instructions. Here's what I mean. Uh, the first comment here says headers, so the entire CSS code below this comment is for the headers. And if I read further, uh, I can see the sections names, he belongs header, the girl header and etc. So under the headers I'm going to find all the headers section from the Tina collection. If I would like to find the exact section that I was trying to customize on my page here, a fire blurbs, I can just bring up the search by holding control and pressing F and I can just type in a fire blurbs. There we go. And I want to continue reading these comments. I can see that this one says numbers. So if we take a look at our section, the only numbers we have are these before the titles. So I can assume that this CSS block is controlling these numbers here. So if I would like to change these numbers, I can just copy this and paste it on the website. I can go to Divi, Team Options and under the custom CSS, I'm going to paste the CSS code. There we go. And now I can just update this and save. For example, to change the color, I can change this white to let's use tomato once again and I can also change the font size from 16 to 20 pixels. If I don't want to update or if I don't need updated anything else I can just get rid of it and all I'm left to do now is to save my changes. Now if we exit the visual builder let's save and exit these numbers should now turn red or tomato there we go and they also have uh, increase the font size. So that's how the custom CSS works. All you have to do is to find the exact section name, read these comments, find what you're looking for, uh, what you're trying to customize and modify, copy it, paste it here in the theme options, custom CSS and save. One final thing worth mentioning is that this custom CSS area here is going to affect the entire website. So this CSS is going to be loaded on this page and any other page on my website even where I don't have this section loaded. If you would like to add the CSS for a particular page only, you can go to page settings. Let me enable the visual builder once again. You want to go to settings, page settings, advanced, 
custom CSS and paste your CSS right here. Once done like this, the CSS is going to be loaded only with this page where the CSS is. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.